Hedwig Ava Maria Kessler, or Hedy Lamar, was a Hollywood film actress who went on to create technology that would help the U.S. Navy win the Cold War. This same technology is incorporated into modern Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and GPS. Hedy even convinced Howard Hughes to change his original airplane wing design so that they may fly faster. She was born in Vienna, Austria, November 9, 1914, and she was always interested in theater and dance. Plus, her father seemed to be a huge influence in her curiosity with technology. They loved going on long walks together, where he would explain how everything mechanical operated, like the printing press, cars, and streetlights, just to name a few. At five years old, she was found taking apart her music box just to put it all back together. As a teen, she studied acting in Berlin and starred in a few small independent films, where one of them blew up with controversy, and it was even banned in the U.S. because it featured a female oak. She actually ended up marrying one of her fans, but little did she know he was actually a pretty powerful Nazi and he was actually pretty close friends with Mussolini and Hitler plus he was very controlling he kept her locked away wouldn't let her act or go anywhere without his permission so she had to find a way to get out of there Hetty hired a look-alike maid, drugged her with sleeping pills, wore her uniform, and left for Paris with a bunch of concealed jewelry she could live off of. She did eventually arrive safely in London, where she would meet the head of MGM Studios, Louis B. Meyer, and the two of them flew to Hollywood together, where Meyer marketed Hetty as an exotic beauty. He was the one to actually advise her to change her name from Hedwig Eva Maria Kessler to Hetty Lamar. Hollywood was not as fun as Hetty hoped. She was typecast as an exotic seductress and had relatively few lines in every role. So to relieve her boredom, she took up inventing. Hetty eventually met Howard Hughes, and he was one of the few men who showed interest in her hobbies. Hetty suggested Hughes change his wing design for airplanes to resemble a fast fish or bird. And upon showing him her design, he called Hetty a genius. Hughes put his team of scientists and engineers at her disposal, saying they would do or make anything she asked for. Hetty really blossomed with Hughes' support. She made numerous inventions, including an improved traffic stoplight, a pivoting shower seat, an improved Kleenex box, and a tab that was supposed to turn into cola in water. But that one was scrapped because she said it tasted like Alka-Seltzer. In the late summer of 1940, the world was on the brink of a second war. Hetty really wanted to make a contribution to the U.S. military. She learned that the Navy's radio-controlled torpedoes could easily be jammed. So, she thought of a frequency-hopping signal that could not be hacked or jammed. Hetty needed some extra help actually building this device, so she contacted a dear friend, pianist, and composer, George Anthill. To help Hetty develop a device for her vision, Anthill used a mini self-playing piano roll and synchronized it with radio signals. I'm not too familiar with radio technology, so I can't explain how this works, but they were able to patent this technology. At the time, the US Navy was not open to considering inventions coming outside the military, plus the invention was pretty difficult to implement, so their technology wasn't used until the Cuban Missile Crisis in 1962, just two years after their patent expired in 1960. During the Second World War, Hetty wanted to leave MGM Studios to join the National Inventors Council, but was denied and told she would do best selling war bonds. She didn't let this rejection take her ambition though, so she did participate in a war bond selling campaign with a sailor named Eddie Rhodes. Rhodes would be in the crowd at each campaign, and Hetty would call him up to the stage, flirt with him, and ask the audience if she should give him a kiss, to which Hetty replied she would if they sold enough war bonds. Together, they sold 25 million dollars in bonds to support the war effort. Adjusted to reflect today's inflation, that's 343 million dollars raised. Hetty finally decided to leave MGM Studios in 1945 to start a production company of her own. And while one of her movies did receive two Oscars, the rest were over budget or didn't generate enough profit to keep her afloat. She even collapsed on set once from stress. Hetty did have three children and went through six marriages, the last one being with her divorce lawyer, but they divorced and she decided marriage was not for her. 
Hetty and her eldest son were estranged for about 50 years, and she spent the last decades of her life in seclusion, using her home telephone to communicate with friends and family. On January 19th, 2000, Hedwig Eva Marie Kessler died in Castleberry, Florida at the age of 85 from heart disease. She is honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, and she was jointly honored with the Electronic Frontier Foundation's Pioneer Award with George Anto. Lamar was also the first woman to receive the Invention Convention's Bulby Ness Spirit of Achievement Award, also known as the Oscars of Inventing. The following year, Lamar's native Austria awarded her the Victor Kaplan Medal of the Austrian Association of Patent Holders and Inventors. In 2014, Lamar was posthumously inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame for frequency hopping spread spectrum technology, the same technology incorporated into first world modern life, including Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, and wireless security systems. This is why she is known as the mother of Wi-Fi. Unfortunately, she didn't receive the recognition she deserved throughout her life, and she never saw a penny from the technology that partly saved the world from a third war. That never stopped her from doing what she loved or prevented her from fighting for what she believed in. She simply saw what could be improved and did it herself, despite the failures and the setbacks. If you feel like you do not belong in this world, it is because you are here to create a new one. Thank you, Hedwig Eva Marie Keisler. I'll read you something pretty. People are unreasonable, illogical, and self-centered. Love them anyway. If you do good, people will accuse you of selfish, alternative motives. Do good anyway. The biggest people with the biggest ideas can be shut down by the smallest people with the smallest mind. Think big anyway. What you spend years building may be destroyed overnight. Build anyway. Give the world the best to have and you'll be kicked into the sea. Give the world the best you've got anyway.